The Eurypterids, or sea scorpions, are a group of extinct Paleozoic arthropods. They are perhaps best known for the longest specimens. Uh, Perigotus, for example, pictured here, could reach two meters in length. And there were some which were even larger, reaching two and a half meters in length, more than eight feet. Most species were considerably smaller than this, however, measuring less than, say, 20 centimeters, well under a foot, and some even measuring two centimeters, less than an inch. They first appear in the fossil record during the Ordovician period. Some feel uh, that perhaps they originated in the Cambrian. They greatly diversified in the Silurian and Devonian periods, during which time they were known from every continent on Earth and adapted to both marine and freshwater environments and from fossils and from their anatomy, uh, could spend at least some time on land as well. They were hard hit by the end Devonian mass extinction, and their numbers declined sharply after that. And the last Eurypterids became extinct during the end Permian mass extinction, which ended the Paleozoic era. Their overall body form was similar to other chelicerate arthropods in having two main sections, a prosoma, where they had one pair of large compound eyes, larger than normal in pterygotus, one pair of simple eyes, or ocelli, and six pairs of appendages. The rest of the body was composed of an opisthosoma, which had 12 segments, the first six being broader um, and possessing gills and reproductive organs on the first segment. The final telson could be flattened uh, for swimming and use as a paddle, or in some it was pointed and arguably could be used in prey capture or defense, perhaps even being able to inject venom. Here on Terrygotus, one can observe the very prominent chelicerae, the grasping uh, appendages associated with the mouth. This set of appendages near the mouth are significant in classifying arthropods. Most arthropods, say the insects and crustaceans, have typically more crushing mouth parts as seen here in this termite. They are classified in the group Mandibulata, while the Chelicerata group, which includes sea scorpions, modern scorpions, and spiders, have more grasping or piercing uh, mouth parts, known as chelicerae. Many might confuse the chelicerae of this sea scorpion pterygotus with the grasping pinchers of a scorpion, but if one were to look more closely around the mouth of the scorpion, one sees the grasping chelicerae there. These large chelicerae in pterygotus are unusual. Typical Eurypterids had much smaller chelicerae, as similar to the scorpion in the previous image. Not only could chelicerae be defensive for pterygotus, but they could grab and tear pieces of food for transport to the mouth. In addition to the chelicerae, Eurypterids also possessed four to five pairs of walking legs. Uh, these most typically simply ended in points and were used for walking, although in some, uh, the walking legs could vary in size, bare spines, or as you can see in the ones near the head, be enlarged and modified for prey capture. The final pair of walking legs could be modified as a swimming paddle, while in some it was uh, retained as a simple walking leg. Eurypterids were a major predator of early bony fish, and it may have been that this predation offered a selective advantage to those sarcopterygian fish which were adapting to more terrestrial environments and which were the ancestors of the amphibians.